Hey, Jared here, and today I'm in Gatlinburg. A couple months ago, I did an all-day eating video where I ate like all day, and it was at CityWalk at Universal. Well, I thought it'd be fun to do the same thing for Gatlinburg because we're, you know, spending a vacation day here. I think for breakfast, we're gonna start out eating at the Pancake Cabin. I hope. Flapjack's Pancake Cabin, that is. What you got there? How's your coffee? It's really good, but it just burned the top of my mouth. <laughs> The other steps I took weren't on huh? that one. I guess I took too much. I like you must have forgot to blow on it. A little cup. <laughs> oh yeah, it's very nice. Hello. What's this, Jay? Is your pancake? Yeah. That's the awesomest pancake ever. Your bear has Cool Whip hair. But where's my bacon? The bacon's over here. I'll get you a piece. Grapes. I know. I'm so excited to eat them. The syrup though. looks so awesome <laughs> and delicious. Mm -hmm. And Reese's. I put syrup on it. Much, it was, was it just Reese's? Reese's? Yeah. It was Flat Reese's. Tracks. It was Reese's peanut butter cup. And I got the stuffed pumpkin roll yours was how much? French toast. Yours was nine. And hers was, and mine was, I think, nine. Yours was, yeah. And JJ's was. The, what is yours called? The skillet? Spanish skillet. Spanish got chorizo skillet. in it, pico de gallo, eggs, and. I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh, cilantro, maybe. Looks good. It's on potatoes. How is it? It's good. It's spicy. It's spicy. Because spicy? Of the, well, because of the chorizo sausage, which I really like chorizo sausage. That looked amazing. Yeah, it was. It was good. It comes with two pancakes. A too, but I'm not gonna eat the pancakes because I get sick easy. <laughs> That's what the restaurant looks like. It's so cute in here. Just another shot of the outside. And you can see these snowmen a lot better on their windows. Every single window has snowmen on it. And they're so cute. What a neat idea. It's just a subtle... My snowman's right here. And then Dad made a hidden Mickey. Oh, nice. <laughs> You guys are cute. Flapjacks was a really good breakfast. There was only one problem, and it's not really anybody's fault. It's just that's a really busy restaurant because it's really good, and it's really cold out, and we got the very first table by the door. So you can imagine, every time the door opened, which it opened a lot because it's a popular restaurant, because it's good. We were freezing, so if you do go, don't let them sit you in the first seat. For our lunch, we're gonna duck into Mellow Mushroom Pizza and try it. I've seen them here and never tried it. And if you're wondering to yourself, lunch, it's dark out. Yeah, I know. When we travel, our eating and sleeping schedule gets all messed up, but I assure you, this is our lunch. Oh, I love yeah, for our little light lunch here, we're gonna all split a pizza. <laughs> Katie just moved the menu on me. Those are the pizza prices. I think we're gonna get a larger medium. They have all kinds of ingredients that you can get. We're gonna get a one ingredient one. That little dude's kind of picky about his pizzas. I think we're gonna get sausage. A sausage, mushroom mellow, pizza. This menu is much more in the spirit of mellow mushroom. Oh, Lindsay's got kind of a, I don't know what that is. Pizza in the forest? I wonder if that's Mr. Mellow Mushroom himself. Kind of starting to wonder about the theming of this place. What exactly are mellow mushrooms? Mr. Sarcastic Jake here thinks he's the golden boy because he took the only golden plate out of the stack. I ate lemons. I ate two. Yeah, it's probably a bad luck plate. Why are you frowning? I'm waiting on my pizza. Are you yellow for banana? An angry, hungry person too? Yeah, I'm not a very mellow. Mellow mushroom? Yeah. <laughs> not feeling the mellow mushroom. A high strong mushroom. Got a moonshine lounge behind you. Moonshine? So we can put the kids to bed, With come back here later and drink moonshine? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you would like moonshine. I think I would I hate it. I have probably. no idea if you would or would. I've never had it either. So I guess we ended up getting a half and a half. Half sausage, half pepperoni. I'm trying to find a small one for Jay. It looks good. Smells amazing. I want one of these. What do you think, buddy? One of these. Super dripping cheese, too. Ooh, see? Yummy! This is a sausage one. Going for your sausage piece? They didn't give us any knives, so. Yeah, that's 
It's okay. That's really good. You like it? Yeah, it's kind of like a cross. Well, I mean, it's a medium dish, right? So it's not right. thin crust. It's not deep dish. It's good. Wait, the crust, the cheese is good. Is it gluten free? Or taste? I don't know if it that is, be. but it kind of tasted like it. It doesn't taste like just mozzarella cheese either. Right, but the bread tastes different. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's really good though. The closer look at the Moonshine Lounge. All kinds of stuff on tap. A place to sit and relax. Pretty sweet. So I really liked the mushroom, or mushroom, what was it, mellow mushroom, mellow mushroom pizza. I only had one piece because pizza doesn't exactly agree with my stomach, and I eat, as long as I keep it to one, I'm okay. Everybody else had a couple though, and they really loved it. Dinner, we're gonna try out Howard's Steakhouse. It says it has the best steaks and burgers in town. It certainly looks cool. Oh, this is certainly, certainly has a nice look to it. Oh, I'm pretty excited, man, to try this. In Howard's Steakhouse. This is the oldest restaurant and the oldest building in Gatlinburg, which we thought was extremely cool. We have an awesome view of the creek. No. Which actually runs under the building. What's that? Oh, this? Yes. I don't know the name of it. She told me and I forgot. She just said that it was a coffee porter and craft beer. And that's, I like craft beer. I wanted an IPA, but it smells a lot like coffee and it tastes a lot like coffee, so I do really like it. Did I get it in my mustache? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> it's really cold too, <laughs> which isn't helping because my ears are really warm right now because it's so cold outside. I think I can smell your beer. Can you? It smells like coffee. Yes, it does. It? <laughs> I got so, a burger. This smells super awesome. Mine's called the English burger. It's a. Uh, the what? The English burger. It's got bacon. Oh, I thought, I thought you said Bacon and cheddar cheese on it. Here, take a look at it. Let me see that mayonnaise. It's pickles and tomatoes look as fresh as they could possibly be. Yeah, look at those pickles. They're amazing. And this is a steak burger, and it smells like a steak burger. I got the old mountain burger, and the only difference between my burger and his burger is the type of cheese they put on it. Same as mine. And same with his. He got the Swiss burger, so his has Swiss Pickles. cheese. Twice. One ice burger. Holy fries are delicious, too. I think mine, one of ours is American cheese, and the other one is cheddar cheese. I think yours is cheddar cheese. Nice cheddar, cheese. yours is American. Yeah. What'd you say about the fries? They're good. They're really awesome. good. Awesome. What do you think of that burger? You try it yet? I'm about to. It's almost like a Scooby burger. Mm -hmm. A little bit. <laughs> Too big to fit in the mouth. <laughs> it's nice and hot too. Fresh. It's excellent. It's a really good burger. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I'm I have no idea how I'm going to get my mouth around that, <laughs> but I'm going to try. I did my best. I just couldn't finish it. It was just too much food, but it was so good. Jared finished his. You want some more fries? No. <laughs> I didn't eat all the pizza though hours ago like you did. I guess that's true. I did get two beers. This one's like a lock, lock mass, I think. I don't know. Oh, that's a cool name. It definitely tastes more like an IPA. Champ, that you got bird. some burger left. I had two pieces of pizza earlier, remember? <laughs> What's your excuse? You had two pieces of pizza earlier? And I ate all those fries. Burger's gone. Well, that's going to do it from Howard's Steakhouse. Like Lindsay said, this is the oldest building in Gatlinburg and the oldest restaurant in Gatlinburg. It was really good. We had a really good time. We're going to definitely come back there again. So we've got one extra little eating or tasting thing from Gatlinburg. Uh, we actually bought some wine from one of the wine tasting places, or uh, not wine tasting places, wine winery? I don't know, wine stores. Well, they have at least three wine stores where you can go and you can get little small, little thimble size free samples of wine, and then you can buy wine from it. And I know of at least three, but there may have been more, right? 
It might have been four or five. And they also have like three or four distilleries that you can get moonshine. Get your cat tail down. So on one of them we did, we stopped in because they had a sign out advertising cotton candy wine. And Lindsay's interest was piqued. I'm not necessarily a cotton candy fan or a fan of sweet things in general. But we got it from the Gatlinburg wine cellar. So the way this particular wine cellar works is you you go in and you get three, like I said, three thimble sized samples of whatever kind of wine you wanted. This was sort of like the special one that they were advertising on a whiteboard. Uh, Lindsay tried, I didn't actually try any of it. I've not had any, I have no idea what this tastes like right now. I didn't do the samplings, but she did. I could have, but I chose not to. You, so you sampled this and two other ones and you really liked it. This is cotton candy. It has 11% alcohol in it. We were going to actually drink it in Gatlinburg the day that we bought it. But when we got back to the room to drink it, we realized we didn't have a uh, anything to get the cork out with. It was a little bit after midnight. More than a little bit after midnight. So we're a little bit tired, but I really, really wanted to try this. So I got the cork out now. And like I said, you've actually tried this before. I really liked it. It's good. I've never had a wine taste like anything like that before. Yep, I have not tried it, so. I'm fairly excited, so we'll do this quick. We're not wine experts at all, so it's just gonna be kinda, did I like it, did I not like it? <laughs> Does it smell like cotton candy? A little bit. It smells like apples. It doesn't smell like cotton candy at all. So this was, I think I mentioned it, but it was $20.99 for this bottle of wine, I think, right? Or was it $21.99? Something It was like a little that. bit over $20. Yeah. So, does it taste like cotton candy? Yes, it does. I guess a little bit on the back end. <laughs> Initially, it's good. It is really sweet though. It Too sweet for me. Taste, yeah, I'm not big into sweet wine. I drink a lot of sweet wine because it's the only kind of wine she'll drink. Initially, it tastes uh, very grapey, but it does have <laughs> very much so. I don't taste the grape, but I'm not a wine expert. So. No, I definitely taste the grape. I don't taste the cotton candy till. You know, actually after I've swallowed the liquid. So the cotton candy taste is on the back end, but it, it does. It definitely has a cotton candy taste, and it is good. And it is probably, I would say it's definitely worth $20 or more. That's for sure. This is a, I tasted the grape that time. <laughs> yeah, this is a better quality wine than I'm used to drinking. <laughs> I do really like the label they have on this wine. I have two observations about it, though. One, I like how the bear looks like he's just getting tanked on there. But number two, his wine's pink. Mine is clearly not pink. <laughs> so there might be a little bit of false advertising going on. I was led to believe this was gonna be pink wine. <laughs> so all the little wine cellars or the wine tasting things and as well as the distill the moonshine distilleries, which we've, we've not done the moonshine distillery tasting, but it's just another cool thing to do there in Gallenberg. There's just so much fun stuff to do. It's a great town, I love going. I can't wait to go back. I will probably get more wine from, probably from this place, but I'll probably try a different flavor.